Hi, how are you guys doing today? I'm here with a very special guest. It's Kevin Lee, the Business Development Manager of ND Supplies. How are you doing today, Kevin? I'm great, Rich. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. we got some products on the table. We do. Why don't you give us a little bit of an idea of who you guys are, what these products do, and what makes you guys so special? Absolutely. So we are a packaging company. We manufacture and wholesale to the cannabis industry. Okay. So we manufacture our own bottles such as this with different types of lids, um, tincture bottles, we, we do just a bunch of different um, th different types of bottles and bags and just any packaging solutions really for the cannabis industry. And you guys are a private company? We are a private company. And where are you guys located? We're in Richmond, BC. Okay. Yeah, we're a local group born and raised, so yeah, we're very, very fortunate to be to grow up in BC and to have that kind of exposure to the cannabis industry, right? So Yeah, how are you guys doing? Like obviously the cannabis industry is just blowing up. It is, yeah. It's becoming one of the biggest, most powerful industries in the world. Yes. The stock market this year has kind of been up and down. It kind of went down a lot after a huge explosion. Yeah. And it's kind of reset now. Totally. And I believe we're going to see huge growth again Absolutely. moving forward. Where do you guys fit in the picture? You know, where do you see you guys? Like you have a box here, maybe you can unbox it and show us, you know, what you, makes you guys so special. Sure, I love to do an unboxing for everybody sure. here. So this is um, a sample package that we send out to some of our clients, uh, okay. LPs and things like that, right? So we just cracked this open here. We have child resistant mylars. I mean, we're, we strive to be as compliant as possible. Very good. I mean, it's very important that, you know, kids, can't get into these packages because of know, course I have kids myself and I would never yeah right and yeah. so we would never want our children to get into this no, right because not at all maybe a little bit older but you know, when that happens it happens right so we want to make sure that we're fully compliant and you know at the same time easy to use right so nothing that we do is overly complicated it's very very simple at the same time very effective so we have here is a child resistant mylar bag very standard uh, packaging product. I mean, it's this is just a package for flour. It is, yeah. Okay. Um, people are starting to use this for edibles as well. Okay. So this particular bag is uh, opens up from the bottom, so it's it's great for edibles. You can slide your cookie in and seal it. Uh, for flowers, mainly people prefer a top open, right? So you can crack this open. Okay, so yeah, it's child resistant. I'm mean, still a little childish sometimes, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey man, it has to be. Yeah, for sure. We know that it's safe <laughs> and the kids can't get in. Absolutely. But we also know that if you want to tear it, it'll open easily. Totally, right? for sure, definitely. So you'd mentioned that you have a few LPs. We do. Can you tell us some of the LPs that work with you? Uh, currently, we're working with WeGrow. Um, okay. Yeah, they're a great company, a great product. Great. Uh, we also work with the BC Liquor Board. Uh, oh, nice. Great. Yeah, so. And how long you guys been in business? We've been in business for only two and a half years. Great. But over those two and a half years, we've seen exponential growth. Wow. Yeah, just because I'm, I mean, we're, we're really pushing hard to be, you know, be compliant and to make sure that all our products are of the highest quality. So we work with a lot of, uh, a lot of our manufacturing partners over in Asia. And we're very, very, uh, we're very, very involved in the process. And so you guys are working internationally now or just specifically focused in Canada? Right now, we want to build our base in Canada. We're born and raised in Canada. We are a uh, Canadian company, but at the same time, I mean, I think our products will work well in any market. And what are your guys' goals as a company? Are you guys looking to expand this into the U.S. eventually? One we would day? love to, for sure. That's a massive market. Right? It is. It is. I mean, just the population of California is the population of Canada. So if you take a look at you know, at America, like 350 million people, that's a much bigger market than Canada. Absolutely. But at the same time, we're homegrown, and we we want to make sure that you know, like we actually have. A huge opportunity in Canada because we're federally legalized, Absolutely. whereas in the states you have to deal with, you know. Yeah, state by state. Exactly, right. There's only like I think 11 states that are open right now. Right. Yeah. So, what exactly are you? Is your goal for this conference? Are you looking for people to buy this product? Are you looking for LPs to partner with you? Talk to the community. Right. There's LPs that are watching the show. Totally. Are you looking for that business? Absolutely, but at the same time, we're looking for exposure. We're looking okay. to educate people on how packaging is done and how to do it properly, right? That's the most important thing. I mean, I'm not here to sell anybody anything. You know what I mean? That's, okay. not, that's, not, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is everybody coming together to really, you know, learn more about the business and for me to really get some, uh, get some more information on how we could be a better company, right? How can we make better products? What would you guys want from us, right? Like, I would love to hear that for sure. Very good. And if there's somebody that's watching that needed to know more about ND Supplies, right. what would you tell them? 
I would tell them to give us a call, right? I mean, ND Supply, we're very open. We have a bunch of professionals. Like everybody that is on our team is very passionate about cannabis, about the industry, as well as really educating the public and everybody else about cannabis, right? It's, it's not just about, you know, smoking a joint or anything like that. It's, it's an experience, right? And I think a lot of, I think a lot of people don't understand exactly how, ben, uh, how beneficial cannabis is. You know, not only as rec on the recreational side, but on the medical side as well. And how are you guys benefiting from legalization 2.0 and the new edibles category? Well, we're definitely selling a lot more bags. <laughs> so that's really been good for you? Definitely, for sure. I mean... Because you guys were doing flour. Yeah. Now you're doing flour and edibles. Yes. So has that doubled your sales? It has 30%? come close to, for sure. 30% increase? I think, you know, the rollout has been a little slow. So there's not a lot of products on market yet. But we're starting to see an influx of... Um, of people coming to kind of ask us more about how, how are we going to do this, right? And it's it's a mutual thing, right? It's, we're, we like to talk to people about it too, because how would you like to package it, right? I mean, these, these products are pretty standard in the industry right now, but we're always looking to push the envelope. So when people look at these products, it kind of looks like cigarettes packages, right? Yes, it does. Does anybody ever complain about them? I mean, this looks good. I mean, these, look, these packages look good. Yeah. I mean, they're clean. Uh, aesthetically, yeah, they're great. I mean, the only way to differentiate between companies right now is color, different shapes of the lids. Some like the dome, some people like, you know, the rib. How about beverages? Are you guys going to get into the beverages? We will. Packaging and beverages? We will. We're doing a lot of research and development on that right now as well. Um, it's a very, very new market. And, you know, we want to make sure that anything we put out is going to be, you know, well-researched and compliant, right? So... And do you have like a limit on how much packaging you can do? Do you have like a number of how much bottling you can do like at your plant? Like wh what are the limits and limitations to your Well, we work with multiple suppliers and manufacturers, right? So right now we can scale to just about any. Wow. Any so there's supplier. no limit. There is no limit. No limit. Yeah, for Great. sure. Well, you know what? Thank you so much for your time today, Kevin. Thank you, Richard. I wish you guys all the best of Thank luck you in your so future much. endeavors. Absolutely. Enjoy the conference. We will. Yes. Guys, ND Supplies, Kevin Lee, the vice president of business development sorry the business development manager at nd supplies thank you for having us today thank, thank you, you rich for joining us today. thank you everybody for tuning in and i wish kevin lee all the best of luck and i will and I to rich guys, as well uh, achieve all of your objectives at the conference thank you and you too thank you for doing what you do thank you very much have yourselves a great day and thank you guys for watching thank you everybody